Hey guys, my name is Andrea. I'm here to be talking to you about how to handle getting a bad grade in school. School can be a little bit hard sometimes. Um, I know that you work really hard and you study, um, but sometimes you still, there may be a time when you get a bad grade. I'm just going to tell you about four ways that you can handle getting a bad grade. So the first one is knowing that it happens. Like sometimes it can happen. Like even the, uh, no matter how hard you try, you might study, you might review so many and do um, so many things to make sure that you know the information, but sometimes you, it just doesn't work. Um, there can be times when you just still don't pass or you just don't do as good as you thought you can. And it's not that you just don't know the information, it's just maybe you didn't study in a proper way, or maybe the test was just difficult. Um, yeah, so you just have to understand that it's possible that that can sometimes happen. And you might not ha always have a perfect record, um, and that doesn't make you any less valuable or anything. And the second one is to talk to your teachers. It's important that you review with your teacher and perhaps talk to them about the test and ask if you can see what you missed and so that y'all can discuss it and you can um, go over your mistakes. I mean, you can ask your teacher for any strategies that they might have about studying or test taking strategies. And also you can ask them to redo perhaps. You can also try asking them if you could redo your test if you didn't do well enough. Um, or maybe they'll give you extra credit if you make some corrections. The third tip is to Think about if whether or not you should change your study habits. Um, a lot of times, I know even for me, we can we have a way that we study, but sometimes it may not be what's best for us. Or um, whether it be we look over our notes in a certain order, there could be things that you have to change. Like for me, what helped me with um, studying better was when I took my notes. I used to just write in plain pencil or just pen, or just plain black pen. Then I just go over my notes and try to force myself to read and to understand what I wrote. But a way that I helped to make it better for me, to make studying better for me, was that I highlighted things that are important and I highlighted topics that might be important for, for me to know on the test. So basically what I'm saying is that you should come up with a strategy that may help you. Maybe you might have to study for a little bit Maybe you have to study all at once. Maybe you have to study in sections, like topic by topic, to help you understand. This actually leads into the fourth way, number four, is to try harder and prepare for the next test. Make sure that you're prepared for the next test. So that includes taking practice tests, um, reviewing, studying more, studying longer, studying with other people. And a good way to know if you really know the material is to try and teach someone else the material because that tells you how much you know about a topic. Um, it really brings out what you do and don't know and what you have to go back on. You have to make sure that the person that you're teaching understands it. So you have to take the position of the teacher and discuss with the other and discuss with somebody what you know about that topic. And it will highlight things that you need to go back over and it will show you if you're really understanding of the material. So yeah, so those are the four ways that I have of how to handle getting a bad grade. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.